Hi guys, welcome to another lesson. Today's topic is ecology, the local biomes of Nigeria. Now, before we talk about the local biomes of Nigeria, let's define what biomes itself is. Now, biomes are large natural terrestrial ecosystems. Now, a biome is the largest community of organisms interacting with the non-living factors in the environment. Now, biomes can be identified by their vegetation. So the way we differentiate a particular biome from another biome is by their vegetation. Examples of the biomes are the forest, the deserts, and the savannas. Now, the type of vegetation in a biome is largely determined by climatic factors such as rainfall and temperature. So, as such, regions in the world which have similar climates also have similar biomes. So most places that have a similar climatic condition would have a similar biome. Let's talk about the two types of biomes we have in Nigeria, the forest zone and the savanna zone. So let's start with the forest zone. The forest zone is divided into two parts, the mangrove forest and the tropical rainforest. So let's start with the mangrove forest. Now the mangrove or swamp forest, we could also call mangrove swamp forest. The mangrove forest is found in areas along the coastal states like Delta, Lagos, Cross River, Aquaibom, Bayelsa, and River States. So this mangrove forest is found mostly in these regions in Nigeria. So let's talk about the characteristics of the swamp forest. What we find in a swamp forest that will know that will make us know this is a swamp forest. Vegetation that is found in the swamp forest are tall wooden trees. And also, the plants found in the swamp forest have aerial roots. Another characteristic is that the trees in the swamp forest are evergreen, evergreen trees, and that possess broad leaves. And another characteristic of the swamp forest is that it has a combination of salt and fresh water. So the swamp forest possesses the two the combination of both salt for salt water and fresh water and the salt forest is found in areas of heavy and frequent rainfall with an annual rainfall of about 250 centimeters now common plant species found in the mangrove forest are red mangrove white mangrove palm and coconut these are plant species that are commonly found in the swamp forest, the mangrove forest. And the common animal species found in this community include tilapia, oyster shells, crabs, snakes, birds, and king fishes. Now let's talk about the other type of forest that we have, which is the tropical rain forest. Now the characteristics of this forest or this bio is that it possesses tall trees with buttress roots. Also, the, re the leaves of these trees or this vegetation in this forest are evergreen and broad. And one specific characteristic of the tropical rainforest is that the trees exist in canopies. What we mean by canopies is that we have different layers of trees that prevent sunlight from reaching the forest floor. So these layers just prevent the sunlight from reaching the forest floor. So thus the Vegetation on the forest floor is usually sparse. It means we don't have much vegetation found on the forest floor of the tropical rainforest. Another characteristic of the tropical rainforest is that epiphytes and climbers are common features found in the trees of the tropical rainforest. Now, the climate of the tropical rainforest is hot and also wet throughout the year. The mean annual temperature of the tropical rainforest is about 27 degrees Celsius, while the mean total annual rainfall is about 2000 millimeters now this tropical rainforest is found in states like oyo edo cross river ogun ondo imo and rivers states some other characteristics of the tropical rainforest is that the trees in the tropical rainforest are of great varieties and these trees are actually made up of tall hardwoods we have abundance of tall hardwoods and we have different varieties of these trees, but we have an abundance of tall hardwoods. Examples of these hard, tall hardwoods are 
Iroko, Obeche, and so on and so forth. Another characteristic of the tropical rainforest is that there are various layers of trees. Now, these layers of trees, like we mentioned earlier, are the upper, middle, lower, and the bottom story. So these are the four layers of tropical rainforest that we have. We have the upper layer, the middle layer, the lower layer, and the bottom story. Now, the tropical rainforest also has abundance of sunshine. Also, the relative humidity within the forest is high. That's, also, that's another characteristic of the tropical rainforest. And rainfall in a tropical rainforest is throughout the year. Next class, we'll be talking about the savanna zone. We've discussed the forest zone. So we'll be talking about the different types of savanna zones that we have in the biomes of Nigeria. See you next class.